Salona Beach went out on top last season with a Mountain West title in Las Vegas Bowl victory. 12-2 and two and ranked 17th in the nation. We sent out the seniors in style. But that was then. This is now. For year six, we welcome in the newest class of Salona Beach sponges. I believe these are the guys that can help us get over the hump and push us as a team towards the national championship. So let me introduce a few players from this draft, headlined by none other than QB1 Zach Miller, the six foot three signal caller from Hopkins, Minnesota. The land of 10,000 lakes, they say, can confirm Zach Miller is a testament that Minnesota produces some of the finest freshwater sponges. As this five-star quarterback got the job the moment he stepped on campus. Big time receivers we brought in like Joe Davis and Blake Williams, they were redshirted to preserve their talent for the long run. But 90 speed Dwayne Cade was a 79 overall from Lamar, Colorado. Colorado, and he was just too good for me not to play him. We loved our defensive line that graduated, but I just want to say that we're actually in really good hands here with the youth movement up front. 81 overall, the best recruit hands down in school history with 92 block shedding. Tim Hawley is going to hold it down at left end, that I believe. Whereas redshirt freshman Chad Slasher will hold it down at right end. And of course, you already know John John's plugging up the middle, even if he's triple teamed. A lot of other key pieces join the team, but like I said, they will be redshirted due to upperclassmen that are in front of them. We don't want to waste a year of eligibility on the bench. On the topic of new recruits, there is a major storyline that we're going to want to follow throughout this season. Salona Beach legend, tight end Rock Boston, the man who threw for a touchdown pass as an out of position tight end and also helped us secure the school's first ever bowl victory, has a younger brother. And Rock's younger brother is in his senior year of high school. The scouts say that he has Rock Boston's secure hands, but also has tremendous upside. Currently a four-star recruit, I need to do everything in my power to make sure he becomes a Salona Beach sponge. Currently not in the picture, but I need to paint the picture that it'll be pretty dope if Rock Boston can hand the baton down to Stone Boston. Here's a peek at the schedule for the year. We get a rematch against Arizona after handling business in the bowl game. Ranked USF, but for the majority of this schedule, I honestly feel like we can run it even with a freshman quarterback. No way. We continue to do Salona Beach first out here as we're projected to be the best team in the Mountain West. 86 overall, 84 offense, 88 defense. That's better than anyone in the West as well as anyone in the Mountain Mountain. Darn friggin' right. They got it correct here. John John, preseason first team All American. And okay, Jim Hicks also on the list. And it doesn't stop there. David Barry, the sophomore middle linebacker, second team preseason All American. Some dogs on the first team All Mountain West list, like Brent Burrell. Even six foot eight Brian Williams getting in on the fun. It's only week one in year six, and we got to see how the new quarterback plays. But I feel very serious about our opportunity to contend this year. It might not have to wait much longer. One week at a time, one game at a time. Let's start with Pump and Stone. Boston recruiting points to the max. Let's not forget Philip Rivers has insta commit ability that Saban factor. Does he get Stone Boston? No, we don't insta commit him. The last thing we want to see is him fall to our arch nemesis, the Aztecs. I have been wanting to build the great wall on the offensive line for so long, and a gem guard right here is exactly what we need. An outside linebacker with 98 acceleration? I don't think I've ever seen that. No way. James Reese, a four-star outside linebacker, 79 overall. It's another dude with 99 excel. I've never seen that before, but now I've found two. James Reese takes 700 points of mine and a scholarship. Yo, these recruits are busted. Chris Hicks, 79 overall tight end. I want Stone Boston, but this guy would be another piece. Matt Mackey, insta commit. We got our first one. I didn't put any points in him, just gave him a scholarship. He's a 68 guard, and that is a piece that'll go right into the offensive line and he's already a sponge. Oh no, the Stone Boston sweepstakes are moving so fast. We have a plus 130, but everyone's giving him scholarships. After the bye week, it's showtime going up against the Colorado State Rams on the road to kick off this season. Let's take care of business one game at a time. I am so hyped for this season. I am beside myself right now. I mean, you just can't see how excited I am to play some college football in year six of the rebuild, the Mountain West favorite preseason All-Americans across the board. It is such a good time to be a Salona Beach fan. First snap was a handoff. The first pass in Salona Beach history for Zach Miller finds his man Buchanan. That's a good guy to get a connection with. Just throwing a dart and let's throw another one to Brian Williams. Let's test the read option ability here and yeah, he's got some speed and physicality to break through. I need to start thinking of some funny catchphrases I can say with Miller at quarterback. I could say something 
something like it's Miller time, but I mean, that's not a beer ad, you know? True freshman Miller driving us down all the way here in his first ever drive. Just gonna keep it with his legs, tucking and running, first and goal. I have a feeling Salona Beach is in good hands with this quarterback at the helm. Let's drop one out to top receiver, Mike Jennings, touchdown. And there it is. One drive is all it took. He was extremely efficient, scrambled with the legs, and it ultimately threw a dime to Mike Jennings in the end zone. Offense looking really good early, and the defense is supposed to be better on paper, 88 overall. However, the Rams are quickly over midfield here, just a couple plays into the drive. Big John John down in the trenches here, set a school record with 12 sacks last season and got first team All-American accolade. John John ended up being in the, t oh man, we just gave up a touchdown. It's all good though. We got Zach Miller back here and he on the run, going to deliver a ball. I am literally glazing Zach Miller right now because he has been electric on both arm and legs. I didn't even know what to say. I was speechless at that run. Phillip Rivers landed a good one, I must admit. And kudos to Phillip Rivers for getting the supporting cast all around him. Jennings, another touchdown. Third down, maybe it just took one drive to settle in on defense because John John in the middle of the trenches here is going to need to be a big factor and look at that disruption. One tick left on the clock. I'm going to launch another one up to Jennings. Do we have a third connection? Oh my goodness, I'm in love. Read option here, hand off to Brent Burrell. Third and one yard to go. I'm going to go back to it this time. We're going to keep it Miller time. Touchdown. John John Holly Slasher. It's a scary front seven here and I am excited to see what we can do. Third and three, curl flat, dumping it to Buchanan. The Alaskan true freshman teammate Cade here is a backup tight end and fourth string receiver and he's busting free into the goal line. The future is so bright out here. You're going to need some shades and it was only inevitable until I throw a pick. A lot just happened in the span of less than one minute here. They score. We're trying to come down and score again. Miller picks up the first. All right, I guess I won't force it to Cade this time unless it's necessary. We got slammed and backup quarterback Cooper is now in the game. He's transferred from Juco. Got the bad news. Zach Miller is dislocated his wrist out for two quarters and Dana Babano misses. Rams keep threatening us. Honestly, they're getting these little sustained drives that actually are working. Long story short, defense need to step up for me and we needed Zach Miller back and oh my goodness. So one thing has led to another and all of a sudden we're losing. Randall Cooper, you need to step up, deliver that ball to Jennings. Yes, sir. Breaking free, going down the sideline. Jennings, do you have the speed to sustain it? Cooper going to sprint out to his right, see if he can get anyone open and just throws a really predictable pick. I thought maybe we had a chance on that one. We are going to have to dial up everything we got on this drive to hold them to at least three or nothing. And Welsh says nothing is the preferred method here. I'm going to take this one back. Can we go all the way? Justin Welsh past the 20 down to the 10 and touchdown. That is the longest interception return in NCAA history. I think it's safe to say that play has absolutely rattled the Rams and I think we're ready to clamp them back down into place. And here we go. It's Miller time again back from his dislocation and he's ready to work. I'm hopeful we can get some insurance points and I think the big tight end is going to be a big piece. Dropping back. Yep, we got him open. It's Jennings again. This dude has been a machine. Three minutes to go in this one. A little bit of pressure coming in. It looks like Jennings has got a step and he beats the defense for his third touchdown of the game. Had me worried for a second in this game, but now I'm back to feeling like we're a bunch of dogs. Second and 10. That's a slip screen all the way. Barry trying to plug it up and he just bounces free. Oh man. Two minutes to go. I'm sending in a blitz. Let's see if we can get a stop, and it's a touchdown. Got to stop this two-point conversion, though. We need to do that, and we do. Second and six, a little out route. Yep, we passed. That's right, and Buchanan with the speed is out of there. Come on now. First and goal, read option. Miller keeps it himself. Up the middle, touchdown. And there you go. Salona Beach secures their first game of the season, 1-0. Zach Miller, player of the game, rightfully so. Jennings was a big piece, 198 and three touchdowns from the receiver today. Coastal Carolina has no clue what's about to hit them in the battle for the beaches. This rivalry is about to elevate to a whole nother level because we are a serious team something we couldn't say a few years ago Salona Beach fans are absolutely gonna love their new quarterback in the home opener it's the battle of the beaches what more could you ask for pulling out the mainly black some white in the fits and across the middle of the field it's McFadden dropping back next play of the game Buchanan's got a step because he has 98 speed and he dropped a touchdown it was literally in his hands and he couldn't come down with it so Miller's just gonna take off 
off himself. I guess we didn't coordinate with the fans that were wearing black and white because they're all still in their lime and lavender. We're gonna have to have a word with the marketing team after this. But anyways, backup quarterback is in the game and gets decked and loses the ball. Really hope Miller isn't dealing with anything serious because those were a couple big hits and I'm just gonna let this one fly. And he almost got it. Offense stalled out, defense for Coastal made us pay and we're gonna make these guys pay just as much. That was Tim Hawley, his first collegiate sack. We love a good sack attack and a slip screen, not so fast there, fourth down. Well, we know Miller's dealing with something because Cooper's back out there for his second drive and it's official, he's out for the game. That is a bummer. I can't seem to keep him on the field in the first two games. He just brings so much to the team when he's out there. Unfortunately, the backup's gonna have to step in and he's a wobbler. I am curious to see though what Cooper can do. I haven't had a full assessment if he's fast, if he's slow. Well, that is a cool sight to see. So it's first and goal. Let's get Scope involved here. Pass out to him down to the two. Third and goal, I'm honestly gonna give Scope another chance to prove it here, and he breaks free of one, but not the other. Fourth and goal in the rain, I don't seem to care, cause Cade's gonna score his first collegiate touchdown. Cade is gonna be the receiver one one day. Third and four, I'm gonna follow the running back here, make sure he doesn't get any funny ideas, and Dawson's gonna get the first down for the team. Looking to step up here and to squish out our opponent. The rain should be helping our sponge soak. Now is the time to make a stand. Coastal has moved far enough down this field. I don't wanna see any more of it. Second and four dropping back to pass on an empty set here he's got nowhere to go third and eight looking to get something here and they dump it off to Dawson but he couldn't do much else they'll settle for three and it's no good never a sure thing in the rain so we get to get our opportunity to get more points calling for a deep attack Buchanan is wide open and Randall misses him third and nine Coastal trying to move quickly here to get any points before half and I don't think he's got anyone can we get a big pick here the deflection works too. Really pinned back in an inconvenient location on the field. Cooper's just gonna step up and run and see if he can get any yards. Second and 10, just gonna launch one. Honestly, what do we have to lose? And he's got him. What? In the rain, pressure in his face. He threw a 56 yarder with no inaccuracy whatsoever. Okay, Coop, I see you out here. John Hall's third sack against us. Coastal defense is playing tough and we miss. I'll blame it on the rain. Rivalry football is always a exciting thing because you never know what's gonna happen. Just like that should have been another pick. Why are you throwing at the All-American? Read option. We get to keep it here. Cooper picks up the first and gets some. One thing we can take away from the injury to Miller is that we have a comparable backup. Despite it just being a 7-0 game, I'm happy with what I've seen so far as Brent Burrell. Oh man, what a run. Let's get scope in motion here. Oh, wide open. Hello, McFadden. Big third down across the middle, taking it while under pressure. First and goal. Brent Burrell had 15 touches, most of those within the five. Let's see if we can keep padding on his long list of touchdowns. And that is his 30th career touchdown. One thing has led to it another. We're deciding to put backups in. We're up 28-0, and Coastal never stood a chance today. McFadden, Cade, Towns, Williams. Nice to see a few other names out here at receiver that are looking to get a crack at the roster in town. Says, what's good? What up? Good night. I think it's safe to say we had a lot of fun in this one, shutting out Coastal Carolina. The battle for the beaches stays in the Pacific where it belongs. After that beat down, we had a whole slate of recruits ready to visit, so I'm going to start scheduling those. I think what I'm going to do is invite them all to come see us beat down Arizona. We only have a five-point cushion on Stone Boston, so I think a big game will give us the cushion we need. Looks like Arizona took a step back this season, and we're all tied up in the overall department. And here are those recruits we're trying to get to early. The black and white works really well in the blowout win against Coastal Carolina, so I'm bringing it back against U of A. Zach Miller officially given a star under his name, and rightfully so, to symbolize his impact on the game. I just want to keep the man healthy, but it already is going to show that our JUCO transfer that we picked up was paying dividends already. Back to Brent, up the middle, he's got some space, good run. Third down, looking to convert. Who's it gonna be, who's it gonna be? There it is, Buchanan. Someone in the comment section is gonna need to let me know how many games have we won in a row. I forgot, I knew we were like, I think a 10 game win streak at the end of last season, and now it's two in this one. So if my quick math is correct, that means we're going for game number 13 in a row. We ain't just coming anymore, we here, as Miller takes it himself, breaks free. U of A looking to move down the field, Fuller with a mean run just running over us. It was a full circle moment at the end of last year being able to face U of A in the bowl game. If you recall, they did us dirty in week one of the season and we got back at them. Third and 10, they're gonna pump fake it and I just get in there 
quick, lightning quick for the sack. Little third down action here, curl flat. Yep, Buchanan, I don't doubt it for a second. With that 98 speed, hit the turbo and go all the way. No one is gonna catch you. Let's do a little celebration across the field all the way. Big third down here, kind of get in there with Avery and Whitlock, springs free. I don't know how he was so open. Third and nine, what can we do? Can we step up and make a play? Oh man, that should have been picked. The sun is setting on a beautiful San Diego night and Arizona gets their first points. Do you all remember when we were having a hard time getting fans in the stands? I mean, just look at us now. It's our third game of the season and it's like literally a sold out crowd and I don't know what just happened there. And I credit that pick honestly because I started thinking about the recruits that were visiting. A lot of them wanted tight ends to step up and make plays today. Penalties really killing Arizona's drive here and I don't want them to get anything more than what they have here. Okay, a kick return touchdown. I went to go sim the kickoff return because I don't play every kickoff return and he took it to the house 101 yards. Third and one, gotta get the stop here. The read option, man, everyone just bit. And the quarterback, Iron Man. Well, at least we got a kick return for a touchdown because they score right back. Miller scanning, looking for something big. Just gonna use his legs and that was nifty. Zach Miller playing at such a high level for his first season. I know you've already heard me glazing, but I'm gonna keep glazing because he's got NFL talent. Second 11, over the middle is open and we just missed Cade. How are we gonna miss my guy Cade like that and take a sack in, instead? Fourth and 22, you already know we're aggressive and it paid off in spades. To me, I think it means Philip Rivers has confidence in his guys and Dwayne Cade left alone for a touchdown. That will certainly not be the last hookup from that tandem and defense swarming. Third down. I'm going to have to get a little situational here. I see scope though wide open for now. We're going to try to hurdle. Nolan tried getting up on that one, but we got to feed the tight end out here and uh oh, we just don't have time to feed him. But oh my goodness, Miller, you are a magician. He got away. Okay, I don't want to throw ints, but I really have to start forcing it to the tight end because I want Stone Boston to come to Salona Beach. And sure, we may be up by 22, but I still need more yards. Literally 55 more is what we need. I'm looking at literally one guy and one guy only. And that is why I am not trying to do that. You got to be natural when you're playing offense. Much as I want those bonus points, I don't think I should keep forcing it. Maybe I focus on designing up better plays for the tight end to get involved like that. Let's just send the man on a streak. There might be an opening there. I feel like there might. And I think I was right. Touchdown. I don't care what U of A does, even if they score. I just want the ball back so I can finish off the yards challenge with the tight end. One minute left. Can you just hurry it up, my guy? Do what you got to do. Get sacked, lose, throw a pick. I don't really care. Just give me the ball back so I can get like five more yards and we'll take a pick. Sure. Third and 10. I'm running low on chances. Brian, I see you. There we go. With just 56 seconds left, I need two more yards and that could have been it. Come on, Brian, just two, please. There we go. Now it's official. Well, that was fun. We take care of business. It wasn't in any doubt here. Look at Zach Miller. Another five touchdown day. Early season haul already three games in. Chris Hicks, Stone Boston, Christian Campbell, welcome to the team. We went out there and got our guy. But Chris Hicks is no pushover either. This man's got some stats. But ultimately, Stone Boston six speed faster and speed kills. The early visits paid off exactly like how I wanted them because now we get a lot of points back to allocate to other guys that we didn't have enough to give in the beginning. Look, an 80 overall guard still out there. I asked who's gonna stop us. Well, 24th ranked USF Bulls look like a pretty good team. So this is not gonna be an easy task. Wow, in fact, USF has the number one offense in yards per game. And we are traveling over to Florida far from home, San Diego, California, almost on the opposite side. Well, practically, this is the opposite side of the nation. Bulls fans really showed out for this one. We're in the Raymond James Stadium, right, where the Buccaneers play, and this thing's packed. That's actually kind of surprising. As Buchanan says, hold on, just love it when the speedster gets out there to cook and do his thing. Now, no one's really here. Maybe we'll turn around and make a play for it. Yeah, McBride is the one that does the turning around and pick. Third and 12, he's got a receiver in motion. Their star, I'm gonna make sure I keep an eye on him. And he goes to him, in fact, but we still get the stop. So I'm confused when I see a team like the Bulls that's ranked 24th in the nation. They're one and one. My gripe is the fact that we didn't get to keep our ranking after last season and we were 17th. Third and four, slants called here. No one's really getting open. Here we go, third down, looking for a open receiver. They find him, it's white. And we get a hit stick fumble. I was already counting that play out, but way to stick with it, Coleman. Oh yeah, tight ends breaking free, and I just get undercut there, bro. I am a clown right now. Third and 17, is he really gonna get like all of that back? Thankfully not. All right, that should be 
Oh man, we get hit stick, fumbled, Brent Burrell turns it over. Practically no, it's a guaranteed pass on third and 10. I'm trying to hold my zone and the defense gets in there. Good job by Slasher to get in there and hit the QB's hand as he threw. This is the first time we've looked a little rough around the edges, but we can all turn it around here quickly. We know that. Third and 10, looking for someone just to break free and I'm just gonna lob a 50-50 ball. Doyle was the one to come down with it. Seriously, having a hard time out there. It's been perplexing here on why the defense for USF's playing so well. Here we go. Third and goal. Empty set. They got a lot of options out here and thankfully some miscommunication. Just feels like there's nothing too much going on here, but Brian Williams is doing his best to get us involved. Second and two. Now we're talking red zone football. Jennings fighting. Clock is ticking. We're just down to 30 seconds left. I think we might have Jennings here. Ooh, third and five. Let's try Jennings one more time. I think I like it over there and that's why. Rather miraculous that we're still in this game by such a close margin because we should be getting blown out. But hey, USF can't finish, and now we're getting our opportunity to shine. I think I'm smelling the end zone on this one. What do you guys think? Cade, behind his back. Oh, man. We sniffed it, but in an inconvenient way. I'll be honest. That was not the guy I threw to. Freshy to Freshy Bond is growing. Third down here, getting the stop on defense. We're up by eight. Love to see the resilience here from Miller. Second half football, he's doing much better. Back in the red zone. Going to call the play action. See if we can finish it off. Aye, aye, aye. Thankfully, our offense super effective today. It's getting much better in the second half, and that is exactly the play we wanted to make. Definitely running this play back because look at the soak up job by Jennings. Snagged it. Just under two minutes in this one. USF still looking to climb out of the hole that they're in, and he has a lot of time there. If we get the stop here on fourth down, I'm going to call it it's wraps, but... Oh, he dropped it, so it's wraps. We could take a knee or we could pad stats. I don't know. Sounds like a clear choice to me. And that'll do it, folks. We win 28-6. Salona Beach comes on the road and gets it done. We love a post-game screen filled with yellow. Highlighted by James Reese, we just nabbed four more dudes. 4-0 and in rank 22nd in the country. It's time for some Mountain West Conference play. San Jose State is making their way down south of California to come to Salona Beach. Three touchdowns last game for Jennings. He's had two games this year already in the young season where he's caught three touchdowns. The more I think about it, that's really an absurd clip to score seven touchdowns in four games. Third and long, we can go out here. Just missed our guy. A little bit shaky start for us on offense, but we got a chance here to just hold down the fourth. It's third and inches. They're going to run it. I know it. I knew it. Can we stop it? Avery and gang there. Take two on offense. Maybe this will be much better for us as Miller's got some space to work. He's going down the sideline. Does he have the wheels to go? Oh man, just got him by the shoestrings. Miller was this close from taking it all the way to the house as our tight end breaks free. Couple big plays and we're already down here. So I'm gonna go right back to Brian Williams. First in goal. We got a guy going out. It's McFadden. Almost had it. But now that we're less than a yard away, it just makes sense for the fullback to do the rest. Scrambling out to our right here. We got a lot of field in front of us. Good block, but we fumble because I didn't slide. Sometimes I'm just a madman out here and try to get really aggressive no matter the circumstance. Third down. Let's get the stop. They're going to punt it back. Another third down here on offense. And look at Jennings, man. First quarter is winding down. And man, our tight end has been open for days. Play after play after play. I see Brian Williams just getting open. So touchdown. Getting another stop here. They are just running out of options. What can they do? So I know we just recruited Rock Boston's brother Stone, but there's got to be some real talk about what we do with our six foot eight machine. Honestly, red shirt is probably the most likely outcome when they come to campus. I mean, actually, we do need a backup tight end because we don't really have a one B. So maybe one will start, but one's going to have to sit. We brought in two, remember? It will sort itself out. I'm pretty sure of it. So it's a good problem to have. I'm honestly not really worried about it. I am worried about making mistakes like that. So the freshman jitters are getting to Miller a little bit. And and let's be real, that's all my fault. It's not Miller's fault. I, myself, King Sponge, definitely don't consider myself to be on the good end of gameplay. Like my reads and stick skills could use some work for sure. But uh, that's the fun part of a dynasty. When you build a squad, you have a lot of guys that pick you up. And we have built ourselves a squad here. I don't see too many holes on any position. Long story short, what I'm saying is my gameplay is not elite. My stick skills need some help, but it makes it all the more impressive when our rebuild steps up to the occasion. Because it really goes to show that we earn our victories. We earn our titles, everything. And that's just the way we like it. Here in year six, we're trying to earn ourselves a way to the natty. One minute to go in the quarter here. I want to get a stop so maybe I can get a chance at offense. And well, they get a first down and more touchdown. So we'll get the ball back, just not the way I wanted it. I didn't want them to score. Brent Burrell up the middle. He's got some room and he's gonna churn almost a first down. Just about midfield here. Buchanan absolutely toasted the defender in the 98 speed. Oh, just not enough juice after the catch. Absolutely cooked that dude, no doubt about it. And we're gonna go across the middle. 
Come on, man. It's happened on like three separate occasions in this episode, and I noticed when I start to predetermine who I want to go to, it never works out. It's like I need to take a chill pill and cut out the idea that I have to get it to someone. Definitely a fan of opening up the game with Zach Miller's legs here, and he has got some space. Maybe can put on a move. Not quite. Right now, my brain said, ooh, look at Kate over there. Let's get that freshie involved more. And if he gets open like this, I say, why the heck not? I'll spare you the details. Just know that our backups are in because we are absolutely cooking the Spartans. Final seconds, one Winding down in this one, Nolan Scope looking to put on the finishing touches. Cooper doing a good job managing the clock after coming in for Zach Miller. Stays up. It's fourth down, but it's game. You could see this game trending this way from a mile away. We just kept padding it on. Offense for the Spartans was pretty sorry. This is going to be the story more often than not here in the Mountain West. It's happening. We got another coach skill point. I'm finally putting a point into the game management tree. Emmanuel Smith has committed to Salona Beach. That's one of the guys with 98 or 99 acceleration. That'll be a welcome addition. Neck and neck battles here with Gabe and Greg. 280 overall players. Georgia wants Greg. Oklahoma wants Gabe. I got to convince them we want him more. Back up to number 17 in the top 25 facing Nevada Wolfpack at the halfway mark in year six. I feel like we're one game away from moving up a couple more spots in the AP poll, and that'll be the highest AP ranking in school history. Let's dial in and beat up on the Wolf Pack on the road and go 6-0 and in the young season. Win the coin toss, we get the ball, it's the drill. You already know by now that's what we do because we like to start off the game with momentum. When everyone out here is deferring the ball for the second half, we're out here scoring the ball in the first half just like this. Kick off, return, open the game with a bang. This was one of the smartest decisions Philip Rivers has made, bringing in a speedster out of Alaska. The Juco product has been an immediate contributor since day one. Third down, let's get the stop here. Quick slant out to Harwell. He doesn't get it. Quickly down to third and 10. I want to convert, and Buchanan's the right guy to do that. The speedster that already scored a kickoff return touchdown wants to get in the end zone again. Zach Miller is that guy, man. He delivers such accurate balls. Adam Allen was getting there in his senior season, so to see a guy come out here in his freshman season and doing this, it's insane. On second down i'm choosing to spread out the offense so we can run a read option to perfection another special team special play special player right there big touchdown and we're up 21 to 0 and that is exactly what we like to see. Give it right back to the All-American corner. Bro, Nevada looks so sorry right now. I'm not going to lie. This is a blowout in the making. Already 21-0. It's about to be 28-0 here, and it's only the first quarter. Calling up a read option here. Just handed it to Brent, letting him do his thing. If it ain't broke, we're not going to fix it. I'm calling the read option once more. Letting Miller this time sprint to the outside. It is wraps, folks. I really don't have to do much. Just put it in coast, and wow, almost a pick six. Someone needs to come check on these guys, because I don't know what got into this their morning breakfast because they suck right now. I know calling that out there was a little blunt on my end, but it's the truth because what are these guys doing? They are dog water right now. Cade to the end zone. Touchdown. It's getting hysterical out here. 68 yard bomb. First play of the second quarter. 35 zip. Freshy to freshy. That's love, baby. When we play like this, I seriously think we got some NFL superstars in the making. Like, no kidding. It's going to be just a matter of time till we see our first couple draft picks. Only the second quarter. Backups are not in, and yet, I should say, it's only a matter of time. I'm going to look to score again here in the second quarter, and then honestly, I'll just keep you posted. Nevada, for the first time all day, finally got us to fourth down, but Coach Philip Rivers says, let's go for it, and I'm right there with him, except I forced it into a bad spot. 35-0. I'm not worried about it. I promised I'd keep you posted, and well, you guessed it. I mean, backups have been in for a little while now, and that was the third string running back getting a touch. A minute away from closing in on our, what is it, sixth win of the season already? I think it's safe to say we're pretty good, huh? You tell me in the chat. Is this the best Salona Beach team you've seen? Is it better than Adam Allen's 12-2 and two run from last year? Time will tell, and you will have those answers here in the next episode as we just cash in once more with Dwayne Cade. Because in next episode, you'll see just how far we go in the playoffs. Final second ticking off the clock. That's a wrap. And Nevada is feeling embarrassed on their home turf. When you play in front of the home fans, I think this is the last thing you want to happen. Getting just absolutely annihilated. Zach Miller, another player of the game accolade. And he only completed 12 passes. That just goes to show you the domination we brought on both sides of the football. And when we pick up the second half of the season, we got Gabe White and Greg McIntyre ready to visit. Oh, snap. What a jump. I didn't think we'd go straight from 17 to 9. We're in the top 
10 AP poll. Check it out. Racking up the points. Just got ahead of Nebraska after they lost to Penn State. We're climbing into number nine in Minnesota, LSU, South Carolina, Air Force, Auburn, Georgia, Notre Dame, Oklahoma are ahead of us, but I just say it. Air Force? Did I read that right? Air Force, number five in the nation. I had to take a second take there. But yeah, I think I predicted earlier it could take a couple more years to get to the natty. It might be this year. So come back and check out the second half of the season. We will kick it off with our bitter rival, the Aztecs battle for San Diego. So if you're soaking up the series, drop a like and hit that subscribe button. In the meantime, check out any of this.